Well, it's a beautiful day in uh, Mexico, Missouri again, and here uh, Roger and I are taking the opportunity to to go flying again. It's uh, Roger's been flying already quite a bit today. We've just uh, completed the factory workshop at the factory, but uh, it's always nice before the weekend starts to go flying and enjoying uh, enjoying the view and the nice weather. So we're flying right now in the Xena CH650 with the UL Power Engine. And uh, again, beautiful day over Mexico. Nice hot summer day, but not, not too hot after all this, uh, this extreme heat we've been having. And uh, today is July 15, 2016, uh, one week before we head to Oshkosh. Now, uh, hopefully July 15th will go down in the history books in aviation as, uh, as the day the president signs uh, the, uh, the pilot bill of rights into, uh, into law, I guess. Uh, Mexico area traffic, Skyhawk 13211, back taxi in 36 Mexico. Nice to see uh, other pilots in the Mexico area this afternoon. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, you know, today uh, the, the president's supposed to be signing the, uh, the pilot bill of rights uh, to, I guess, uh, bill into law, which would uh, basically do away with the, the conventional third-class medical for, for most private pilots, which, uh, as we know, that's always becomes a, a pretty big issue for a lot of pilots. So that's uh, looking definitely looking forward to that becoming reality. It's, you know, it's gone through the Senate, I think, a couple of times. Uh, the House was, was uh, approved, and now... Uh, on to the president. So, uh, so again, uh, it's something that uh, it may uh, it may uh, keep a lot of pilots flying longer, and I think that's definitely a good thing for aviation. And uh, whether they keep flying a uh, sport pilot or, or light sport aircraft, or with the private pilot license as well. Nice thing with the private pilot license is that there, it no longer needs to be uh, airplanes that meet the definition of the light sport aircraft. So uh, for guys that are already Mexico flying uh, four seat airplanes, two one one departing three six, leaving to the southwest. You know they'll uh, definitely be able to continue to fly uh, the airplanes that they've been flying. So kind of exciting. Uh, it could be a definitely an exciting day. And quite frankly. I I think if it doesn't happen today, maybe uh, it'll probably happen sometime next week. At least that's uh, that's what seems to be the consensus out there right now. So here we're again uh, just north of uh, north of Mexico. Uh, beautiful uh, green day out. Uh, we've had lots of rain this spring, and uh, so nice uh, nice green weather out there. Nice green uh, landscape out here. Nice clouds as well. Uh, next Saturday, we're planning, uh, what is that, July 23rd, we'll, we're planning on heading uh, north to Oshkosh, Wisconsin for our annual pilgrimage to, uh, to the Big Air Venture flying. It's always a fun, fun trip. It's not too long for us. It's quite a bit shorter than going to uh, Sun and Fun or Sebring in Florida. Oshkosh is an easy, uh, you know, half-day trip, but it's always a good time of the year. And, of course, uh, the big mecca of aviation uh, during Air Venture is always, it's always a thrill for us. We've got lots of activities, like most years, uh, going on at, uh, at Air Venture. We're not building a one-week wonder airplane this year. Uh, like we've done in uh, you know a couple of years ago, but uh, actually while at Adventure, all of you that have worked on the One Week Wonder, and I know a lot of Zenith customers uh, lend a hand working on the One Week Wonder, has uh, come out to the EA Home Builders Hangar, and I think they've got some way of of digitally signing. Uh, to have your name permanently permanently uh, part uh, fixed on the airplane as part of the paint scheme, so uh, that's that's going to be kind of a nice follow up for the one week wonder program. Uh, I think they'll have some kind of a some kind of a tablet where you sign your name and it'll be actually imprinted in in, in the paint scheme on that airplane. So it should be a really cool cool thing to do. Um, also at Oshkosh, we have our annual uh, Zenith Builder Dinner, and that's on Thursday night. It's always on Thursday night. I think it's on the uh, the 28th this year, uh, July 28th at the Elks Lodge in uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. That's always a fun fun uh, opportunity to, to to relax and have uh, have fun, meet with fellow builders, and and hear updates of what's going on with Zenith as well as with customers. Uh, uh, everywhere, uh, so it's uh, try to come out uh, on the on the on the uh, Thursday evening, the 28th, for the builder dinner at Air Venture. Uh, as well, uh, we've got a number of forms. I think nearly every day we have a form going on, uh, talking about floats for light aircraft. Uh, we are, on the following day we have a forum on rivets and sheet metal constructions, talking about the, the Zen Air blind rivets and uh, the basics of uh, 6061 uh, sheet metal construction for for Zenith kit airplanes. Uh, new this year, I'm going to be doing a forum on building an airplane as a group project. Over the last year or two, we're seeing more and more group uh, aircraft building projects. Folks that are uh, that are they're building an airplane as part of an EA chapter, 
project or as a school project. So that's uh, something we'll I'll be doing a form specifically on. And uh, let me, uh, since we're flying around here, I'm just going to move the camera a little bit to get a different angle. Here we can see Roger flying the airplane. Hey uh, guys. Certainly a nice day. I guess we're staying low. I thought we were going to go up and play in the clouds, but uh, I did too. But it's so nice and low. It's everything's so green yeah, still. It's yeah. it's so nice. I agree, and it's a little bit bumpy, but not certainly not uh, bad in a bad way. So uh, we're going to kind of stay low and really enjoy the view. I'm going to turn this little camera around to really make you appreciate some of the view. Now, for the benefit of the camera, we've got our blind closed, but uh, I'll show you this. You know, this is a nice. Uh, nice blind. If you're going on a long cross-country flight, you know, sometimes these bubble canopy airplanes are faulted for having too much heat from the sun, but this is a beautiful uh, little blind that, that just fits on here. You get really nice shade. And uh, again, from the camera standpoint, it doesn't look quite as nice and, and definitely restricts some of the visibility, but still very good panoramic uh, around visibility uh, in the airplane. So I'm going to go go ahead and, and open it back up here. But uh, so uh, anyway, as I was saying uh, on the forms, uh, after the, uh, the, uh, the group build uh, project form, we also have uh, uh, the following day I have a form on just basically Zenith aircraft for sport pilots, just covering all the different Zenith aircraft uh, models, uh, the advantages and disadvantages of high wing versus low wing, tricycle versus tail dragger, 701, 750, 801, you know, different uh, stall uh, configurations. So it's a good opportunity to look at everything. And then the following day, we're really excited to have a forum on the, the SAM aircraft. And uh, many of you know that the SAM SAM uh, aircraft is a low-wing uh, tandem, kind of a retro-looking, uh, you know, uh, World War II era uh, trainer type uh, configuration. Uh, we acquired that late last year, and uh, we'll be reintroducing this year, uh, well, next week at uh, at AirVenture. So we're really excited about that. Kind of kind of interested to see how uh, how how pilots and, and Zenith customers and new customers respond to it. Seeing what kind of interest there is in that airplane the configuration. I think it's a it's a really unique airplane. Roger and I flew that in uh, I think it was in February, February. In, uh, when it was like 40 below, uh, the coldest day of the year. We, we were in Canada flying that airplane. And uh, so we'll be doing a forum on that. And then the following day, we'll also be doing the, the same aircraft in the home built in review uh, at the EA Home Builders hangar. And that's a neat form uh, format because uh, we basically do the, the form around the airplane. So you can actually look at the airplane, sit in the airplane, pull the cowl off, really look at all the details of the airplane. It's not just a PowerPoint presentation, but actually looking at the airplane. And then uh, on the last day of AirVenture, no, the Friday, with the second to the last day of AirVenture, then we're doing a, a forum on building all metal aircraft. So, um, again, lots of, lots of things to learn about uh, building and flying uh, your Zenith aircraft. Of course, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be in the North Aircraft Display Area like we are every year to show you the airplanes, sit in the airplanes, meet with us, talk with us, and, uh, and uh, learn about building and flying uh, airplanes. You know, a lot of you, uh, we first met at AirVenture, and, and we keep seeing every year, um, uh, year after year, so it's always a, a fun uh, activity. And uh, I think this year we'll, uh, we also have a contingency of, uh, of 701s uh, flying from Vancouver, not Vancouver, from Washington State. And, yes. uh, you know, that's a long haul. I, I, I admire these guys. You know, in a 701, you know, cruising at about 85 miles an hour going cross country. And I know a number of them are coming back for the second or third time. And so it's, it just shows that, you know, these airplanes, it's about the adventure and having fun, the camaraderie of flying together and so forth. So uh, definitely look forward to seeing with those guys. Um, I think Walt Snyder from uh, Southern California is actually planning to fly his uh, 750 for the first time to Oshkosh. And uh, so, again, look forward to meeting with, uh, with builders. Uh, uh, out there. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, oh, well, this fall, of course, we have our, our September uh, 25th annual open hangar days and flying, and we're really ramping it up this year a little bit. Uh, since it's a 25th anniversary, we're trying to add more fun activities, more social activities, and, and we're really turning it into a two-day event instead of the, in the past where it was a, a one or one-and-a-half-day event. The Friday, we have uh, seminars all day long, uh, some informative seminars on building, on flying, uh, avion engine installations and so forth then we have our banquet on the Friday night and then Saturday we'll, we'll be doing the, not only the flying but a bunch of activities 
trying to have a lot of fun uh, doing the soul competition. We've got a flower bombing uh, contest, and then uh, for the first time, we're going to have kind of like a aircraft show. Basically, all the Zenith that fly in, we're going to do judging in a lot of different categories, and uh, hopefully a lot of fun different categories as well. And uh, so that uh, uh, you know, the, all those that fly in uh, can show off their airplane, and, and those that uh, that drive in can look at all the different Zeniths and judge them from a you know again seeing that it, how each airplane is, has been customized by the builder and uh, is a great creation for what it is. So we we'll definitely look forward to doing that. And then on the on the Saturday uh, late afternoon evening, we plan on having a barbecue at the Zenith factory. We have a band coming, play some uh, I think 60s and 70s rock and roll, kind of just as a as a fun fun activity. So really turning the open hangar days into two day events. So again, come out and uh, spend some time at the open hangar day. Uh, those of you that aren't scheduled to come out yet, uh, definitely plan on doing that. So uh, look forward to seeing you in the uh, in September. Um, I think that's pretty much all the specific events I wanted to to cover uh, for that. Uh, of course, uh, you know we we're excited. We we we're already halfway through the the, the year 2016 and uh, getting ready to go to Oshkosh again. So. Again, we, we, we thank all of you uh, for, for being supporting customers of ours, and, and we really enjoy hearing from all of you and supporting you as builders, and uh, definitely stay in touch, and uh, we look forward to seeing many of you at Oshkosh and many of you at our uh, fall open hangar day. And uh, we'll continue on with the video, just having fun flying this airplane around. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon to be flying.